They put their lives on the line every day to protect ours, but when our troops came home, they faced an entirely different battle, a battle to provide for their families. Finding a job isn't easy, and combat boots and fatigues don't quite work in the corporate world, so thanks to the good people at JCPenney and JA Apparel, there is help. They have teamed up with the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America to spend millions of dollars on new clothes for them to work at presumably new jobs. To join us right now to tell us more, uh, we've got Kenton Selvey, the president of JA Brand Group and a spokesperson for the Welcome Home Joe program, along with three veterans of Iraq and Afghanistan wars as well. Jonathan Robinson, who recently found a job outside the military. Also, we've got uh, Scott Spaulding and Joe Wow Huang, who are currently looking for jobs. Uh, thanks to all of you for joining us. Um, Jonathan, let's start with you. Tell me where you served and um, we'll start with that, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, well, I served in Fallujah, Iraq, and, uh, and I've been out since 2006. And which branch of the military? In the Marine Corps. All right, very good. Scott, where were you? I was a Marine in uh, Fallujah and uh, did another tour in Iraq and then again in Afghanistan and later in Haiti. All right. And I got out in April. All right, April of this past year. Yes. And uh, Joao? I served in the United States Army, the Tethman Division. I served in Afghanistan and Baghdad, Iraq. Okay. And I've been out since uh, 2006. You've been out since 2006, and you have had trouble finding a job, right? Yes, sir. Why do you think that is? Uh, sometimes it is an uh, issue of translating skills, specific skill sets into the civilian world. Um, and also, it is very competitive right now. The economic situation is not so good, and it's no exception for the veterans as well. Yeah, the economy is not helping any of you guys. Now, uh, Jonathan, I, I think you said that... Uh, when you went to a PR agency, Edelman, which uh, right. you, you now work for, yes. uh, what you, you found that your military experience actually helped open the door for you. I think that's right. I think that uh, smart employers recognize the intangible benefits that veterans bring to the table, the, you know, the temp dependability and uh, uh, can do. Sure. <laughs> and so what are you doing for the PR company now? I work in public affairs. In okay, you're good. Now, Scott, at the same time, you wonder whether or not some of the great things you learned in the military uh, were helpful to you now, because now you're looking for a job, and what's going on? Well, I, uh, I'm looking for jobs in development, in development, international development, and uh, it's hard to translate my work that I did in development in the military, because they're a little bit standoffish towards the military sometimes. And mm -hmm. it's so, hard to relate. so it doesn't translate so well, yeah. the military, to the civilian world. Mm -hmm. All right, so you are looking, Joe Wells looking. Uh, and because you've been out of work for a while, you know, one of the things that the government doesn't do is we're going to give you some nice clothes to go on an interview uh, when that uh, time comes. Kenton, that's where you come in with uh, Welcome Home Joe. Absolutely. Um, our brand in conjunction with JCPenney as well as IEVA are going to give uh, up to a million dollars away in uh, clothing to our, to our returning uh, vets. Um, it's important. Um, you know, really 11.2% of our returning vets can't find work. That's almost 250,000 of them. Uh, and they're coming back to a huge recession. Sure. And this is after they've had multiple deployments and uh, hardships on their families. So what we want to do is help them transition from combat to career by giving them workwear that helps sure. them climb the corporate ladder. All right. How, how, and I know the program starts tomorrow, and for people who want more information, they can go to our website, foxandfriends.com. How, how important is this to you? Uh, I think it'll be really helpful. I mean, I have one other suit, but this is a different look, and I think it'll be a, at a dash of class. Sure. Scott, while you're here, I know you're looking for a job. There are a million people watching right now. What can you do, and uh, where are you willing to move to? Uh, I'm willing to go anywhere. Um, I'm actually looking for jobs, hopefully back over in Afghanistan or in Haiti again. And what would you like the job to be? Um, something with uh, non-governmental agencies or within USAID, something along those lines. That's where I've applied so far. All right. And Joe, what, what kind of job are you looking for? I'm looking for a job within the government, some place like in the State Department or the USAID as well. All right. And if anybody is watching right now and they know that they can help uh, these two guys uh, get a job, now that they've got some new clothes, uh, email us at friends at foxnews.com and we will put you in contact with them. All right. Uh, Jonathan, Scott, Joe Al, and Kenton, we thank you all. And gentlemen, we thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck to you. All right. Help them if you can.